Let's go for a solo one. Why not? Let's see how far we can get by myself, huh? Hmm. Nope, there's nothing down there. Oh well. Anything down here? No. Uh, the boss's shots is make it difficult to get up there. Okay, now I can actually focus on. Store more juice. Uh, let's try it. Oh, uh, whoops. Nice. <laughs> oh, glory zone. Yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun being able to do some multiplayer of this game with Harvey. This is definitely an absolutely fantastic game and be able to have the opportunity to play multiplayer with someone is definitely a blast whenever you can do it. Oh yeah, I forgot that there was ability to like move the, your camera in. That is a really cool feature, because yeah, look, that definitely makes Nagvein through the spike quarters there a, a lot easier. If only they could have done that, something like that in actual Mega Man games, because like, in the case of like Mega Man 1 or 2, or even later games, like where there's just rooms of just nothing but spikes, like spike pathways that you just have to navigate through, it's, especially for instant death, it's... It could be difficult, like especially if you don't really know the pattern of the spikes too well. So being able to use the cam, like move the camera to see what's ahead of you, like in any direction, is definitely a really nice idea. 
Ah, they blend in with the the map too well. Like I gen genuinely didn't even know they were there. I should try to get some more multiplayer in with Nick sometime in it as well. Ah, uh, this guy can be a bit of a pain. I kind of like how he just ends up hovering over those spikes. <laughs> Oh. It's like, oh, come on, game. That's kind of mean that you put the item over a spike, but it's nice that it doesn't do any damage to you after the boss is dead. It's kind of cool that this level basically acts kind of like a throwback to the original game, like with its seats of enemies. Like a lot of the uh, enemies that you see in this level, like are ones that you'd see like all over throughout the original game. So, as well as like even like these little fire spears. Out. It's calling to me. I smell a secret. Out. Out. Nice. Fly boots. Perfect timing for that too, because I could just <laughs> skip that section. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm not supposed to be up there. <laughs> but I was. Hello, mini boss. I remember when I first like got to this point with Nick, it's like, it was like, oh god, start running, just keep running. <laughs> it's like, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, it's coming. And it's like, I didn't know like what was going on, cause it's like, I'm just normally like when I'm doing like runs of 20 exact times, I'm just kind of speeding through. So like, I never even saw it chasing me at all. Like even here, like it never caught up with me at all. And this boss, 
my boss isn't too bad. It's like you just gotta remember that it attacks like whenever it moves. So just try to stay towards the center and just predict its shots. And it's a pretty easy mini boss. Like right you now, you can see that I'm not taking any damage and I'm not using my tornado for any damage. It's like I could take it out faster if I want to, but... Pretty easy. Ooh, I definitely need the full health. <laughs> if only there were like slow secret areas that you could access like by having stuff like flying I guess there are just like the occasional shortcut like the one I did earlier on the stage but there's not as much as like you'd see like in the original game <laughs> get down A chest here. It's been giving me a lot of health, which I don't really need right now. It's, it's like it would have been useful before when I actually did have a lot of lost health, but. It's like, it's not really helping me do anything right now, and how far is it going to let me climb upwards? <laughs> <laughs> off screen more <laughs> why is this there just this giant open area <laughs> nice a shot oh I guess I could take the plus one health. <sighs> yeah, I was trying to land on the platform, but won't let me. Destroy the little hollow protector projectors. There we
Oh, come on. Ah, oh. that's a sad. I was so hopeful that there was going to be a little bit more I could do with that. <laughs> I really like how their use of bullets here. <laughs> It's like acting as a wall, like they just have to uh, weave through. I kind of want the health for now. Oh. Uh, oh god. Yeah, there's some really cool level designs in this game. Albeit, like, this one's definitely very difficult, but it's very creative and a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh boy, I think I'm gonna die here. <laughs> oh wait! Can he damage his like little out buddy? I thought for a second that you could. <laughs> yep. I shall take that. So it looks like each of those platforms has kind of a bit of a long cooldown, so you mainly just want to focus on one color. Oh boy. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they do power back on if left alone for a little while. Okay, so yeah, it looks like whatever the color the switch is on means that one is currently active. Nope, not a secret.
Power damage scales with energy. Buying or salvaging shop item grants you both benefits. Hmm. Two core points. Okay, so that's how you salvage, okay. So then is it effectively buying it? Power damage skills with energy. Oh, nice. So you could spend... You could spend your nuts to basically buy it, but like you could use it for other things as well. Like because of that, I was able to get more upgrade points. So that's pretty cool. At least like without upgrades, it gives me a way to access other armor pieces without actually having to rely on upgrades, which is pretty nice. That is a, still a really cool effect. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Onward. So what stage am I on anyways? Okay, stage four. Oh guys, he's seeking. I guess it is just trying to lead me across. Uh, I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> okay, so I want to try and figure out, like... Okay, so when you do enough damage to him, like, he... The last part he drops is X as a laser. So you just want to be careful as for like, ow, uh, too fast. Where are you going, buddy? Um, <laughs> okay, there. Was it because I was hiding behind the tree there? 
That was kind of silly. Grand speed, energy, and armor. Power is more damage. Attack scales up with health. I... Let's see. I think... Ooh, par powers deal more damage, actually. Seems better. Oh, didn't see that. Charge attacks is even more chargey. Uh, I'm hoping I can get the double jump too, because if I could potentially get the set, like the full set, that'd be really cool. And I also want to have the chance to see if set bonuses are still a thing in this game. Thorn tall attack damage scales with health. Nice. Oh. Also, I just noticed that those guys are little smiley faces. <laughs> Little bouncy smiley faces. <laughs> okay, there's the last guy. Um, no. <laughs> I saw what it did before, and I know what it does now, and yeah. <laughs> Why would you use that? <laughs> Nice little bonus. I'm sad that you don't get to see the animation for the slots. <laughs> Because that was kind of fun in the original. Okay. Yeah, he's basically completely harmless once you give him his drones. Because that's all he can do is just call, like, uh, be able to manipulate his drones, but. When you take out his drones, he's basically just changing where he's going to be next. I forget this, if this was level 5 or, or 6. 
Oh, I guess this must be six. Oh, wait, no, this is five because I've got four powers. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's the intended way to go. This is so weird with flying. <laughs> as good as what I currently have. If that was double jump, that would have been so nice. Because I still have yet to find that. Hmm. Probably the health, to be honest. Both the energy and the health were pretty tempting, but in the long run I need to stay alive. Ah, you little. It definitely seems like there is a bit of an excess amount of en enemies. Like I'm so focused on like attacking one or two enemies and then just suddenly there's like another one and just becomes too much to look at. Nice, a shop. <laughs> this would be completely pointless to salvage because you just have a net loss of 10 nets. <laughs> uh, I think this would be useful. Let's see, what do I have for... Yeah, let's salvage this so I can equip the headpiece. Oh, 
let's buy this and I think because of the items I have I should be able to get bonus health yep oh that one was six huh you know what, let's fill up I'm fine with not being able to get the quantum spook but the fact that I can do like two level two charge shots like is pretty good and like all of my powers I'm pretty well set Let my attack charge. Ah, I shouldn't have moved. <laughs> Just keep my Nina. Ooh, plus five potential. See how far can I go with this? <laughs> oh, we. Uh, dang it. Stage six. I didn't even realize before that, yeah, my the clockwork boss is actually like my stage six this time. <laughs> Shortcut. Uh, I was focusing too much on that ball and spike. <sighs> Try and keep up if you can. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely took a few runs to realize it, but I really like that even though they limit Hold on. Even though they limit your ability to equip items with core points, that they give you an easy way to go about increasing it. Interesting. Oh, I should have salvaged it. I didn't see the plus three core points.
Oh, whoops. <laughs> You want know hit the spike? Huh. Yep, that's worth it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's always amu amusing to see how you can find ways to s cheap out the stage. <laughs> and it's like the <laughs> ways that even they're in. Probably like they're intending that you can <laughs> that you can use and get to. It's kind of neat that they're like they know the game so well, that, like and the player base so well that they know like what kind of things that the players can do, and so they use that and they make various like obstacle courses and like little parkour areas that you can reach if you want to and just like yep little like little cameos or flavor text for it wait oh i <laughs> oops did i oh yeah, yeah i'll i'll be cleared the sun <laughs> i'm not paying attention apparently But yeah, it's just kind of nice that they're adding just like those little nice extra touches that you wouldn't expect them to put in, but they put in just for the fun of it, like to make it a little bit more creative and fun. So I don't think I'll be able to get, with the little amount of level time I have left, that I'll be able to get the last pink armor piece that I need, but I really want to see down the road if they include like full armor sets. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be in here. Ooh, charge time reduced. But I would need four for that. If I salvage these two, I can be able to. Uh, I think it's best if I just go with this and this. That way, I can just deal more damage altogether. And just because it worked so well, <laughs> I'm still going to use the tornado. Because just look at that. <laughs> Yeah. 
It just completely shreds him. <laughs> I'm still curious as far as like if there are boss weaknesses in this game and what they might be. Because like uh, I, s the game tried to teach it to you. Like 20xx tried to teach you the weaknesses. Like, but this game not as much. So. That's going to be something that I have to uh, experiment with at some point, but nice. Cleared all six sages in a solo mode as well. And for just kind of taking my time and just kind of explaining a lot of things, even though like I'm still pretty new like to 30xx, 42 minutes isn't too bad. Well, I could have gone faster, but <laughs> I was just kind of enjoying the game and just kind of learning like all the various things that you can do 